Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Donna. Uh, so this weekend we were in Orlando and we went to the Goodwill outlet and we bought some stuff and today we're gonna unpack this truck. Everybody at the auction. All right. Okay, so let's see. Did we get some good deals when we went to the Orlando bins, which are called Goodwill outlets? Um, everybody refers to them as the bins, but if you're looking for them online to see if they're in your area, you want to research Goodwill outlet, not bins. Uh, and I'll show you what I got. Let's see if uh, we got some great deals. All right, so the first thing that I picked up were these black um, Crown Royal bags. I don't know, I just, uh, I know that some people buy them for crafts, and but they do make little handy little pouches. They're, um, sorry, the landscapers are in the neighborhood, so that's what you're hearing. So I got these two, there was two of those, and I did buy this. Um, I bought this for personal use, this is gonna be for my front door really cute uh, for Easter. I'm gonna hang that right on my front door, which uh, I thought was a cute little addition. I also picked up, let's see, let's put those there. I picked up, oh, let's make a pile here. I picked up these bibs. I love Cookie Monster. And then the other one is Elmo. So these were cute, they're in excellent condition. Um, they have a tag on them. They do say Sesame Street on them. So, yeah, two cute little bibs. I decided to just throw those in the car. This, I think, was the best thing that I bought, which was this beautiful chenille blanket. It looks like it's probably a size queen. Um, I didn't see any tags on it. It does look vintage. It has some stains on it, a little bit of yellowing, but for the most part, this was a nice score. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the design on it is very beautiful, very traditional. The pinks and the blues. So that was, uh, that was a nice score. Next, I picked up this fleece. Uh, it's a Nautica. Nautica fleece. It's really pretty. Excellent condition. And this suede, it's called a Fabio. Yep, Fabio. Size medium. Very beautiful suede jacket. Excellent condition. Nice and soft. Um, no dirt whatsoever on it. On the cuffs. Probably was worn very little if it was worn at all. And I got this beautiful Christmas sweater. Some people refer to these as um, ugly Christmas sweaters, but to me, it's beautiful. And there you have it. I searched it over to see if there was anything missing and there wasn't. It's an excellent condition. So I thought that was a nice purchase. 
my daughter found this. It's a Harley Davidson, the Harley Davidson tag on it. And it looks like a small. And on it, it says Gator, Harley Davidson, Leesburg, Florida. It's got that kind of heathered um, fabric to it. And then I also picked up this. It's union made is what it said on it. And it is a Anchorage Fire Department, Alaska t-shirt. It is double stitched. So no, it's not vintage, but um, I thought it was a nice nice t-shirt with some nice graphics on it i also picked this up which i thought was so pretty it's just my size it's a 1x it's a very pretty sweater kind of long feels like there might be some angora in it the fabric is beautiful as you can see and this police t-shirt Love this. So this will probably go to one of my children. It's a Gildan. It's a 4XL, so it is big. It's a big one. Big t-shirt. I don't know. We'll see. If anybody sees anything in this video that they're interested in, please reach out to me. This looks like it may be a crib sheet. I bought this because of Bob the Builder. Kind of reminded me of when the kids were little. We used to watch Bob the Builder all the time. And some of these can be bolos, some old sheets. People make different things out of them, as well as the chenille uh, blanket that I found. <clears throat> um, also, I found this North Face. Looks like it's a probably a child. It could be, it says on a size small, women's. It's a women's a size small North Face. I have sold lots of North Face. North Face sells very well. It's a quick, easy sell. So that's a nice black sweater, excellent condition. I thought this was really cool. It's Scarface Clothing Company and Scarface Smoking a Cigar. It's an excellent condition. It's got embroidered on the sleeve there and let's see since we were in orlando i did find a mickey sweatshirt um it doesn't have the cords sometimes you find sweatshirts but they're missing the cords this one doesn't have the cords which is great and it is a disney product there's a disney tag right on it and it's got cute graphic on it it says Mickey, the true original. So that was a nice find. And then I found this hoodie that does have the cord. Um, it's a pink, it's a size medium. Ooh, got a hair in my mouth. Okay. And there it is. It's a pretty hoodie the pockets in the front. Some pink products can also be bolos, so always watch out for bolos. Speaking of bolos, don't forget to tune in to my friend Courtney, Bolo Buddies. She has a great channel and she um, will always come on and show you different bolos. Now this, this is really beautiful. This is a leather jacket. It's an excellent condition. It's black, but it has like a copper hue to it, if you can see that. Um, the zippers are in great condition. And I'll show you the name on it. It's a size large. It says New York. It's got this beautiful full collar. Very pretty. Excellent condition. Very beautiful. Okay, and I also found this jacket, which looks vintage to me. It's uh, Le Chateau, Chateau, whoops, which way am I going? This way, 
sorry it's backwards on the phone and it's a size medium and it has a beautiful fur collar on it um, appears to be wool it's got the nice tapered waist on it and I thought that this was a nice find it's uh, very New York to me looks very New York. this I loved it kind of brought me back to my childhood there's the name on it it's a size large and it's a suede fringed vest so yeah i thought this was pretty cool i don't usually um buy this sort of stuff in thrift stores or i just wanted to go to the bins just for fun I usually buy estate sales and storage units, so I get this stuff in quantity. Um, picking through, trying to find things that were worth buying um, was a little bit hard for me, but I did find this beautiful quilt. Now, it's hard for me to tell whether this is a mass-produced quilt or whether this is a homemade quilt. I think it's homemade. But if you can tell the difference, feel free to put it down in the comments. Um, looks like it's hand whip stitched there. And I would guess that this is a queen size quilt. The colors are very beautiful. I love all of the greens. Looks like either a full or a queen if I'm not mistaken and they did a beautiful job with it if it is homemade and again it looks like it is homemade but you guys be the judge I love this I love the colors on it and this I think is mass-produced because I showed this in my video and someone did say it was mass produced, but it does have the pillow shims. I know that it's a queen because the pillow shims are marked and it does have just a few stains on it, but I thought the colors were beautiful. Very beautiful, very country cottage. All of the soft pinks and pastels. Yeah, I thought this was great. Mass produced or not, I thought it was great. I did find this Padres. I, I said NFL, but it's not. It's, it's baseball. <laughs> I don't know my sports very much. It says uh, number one fan on it. So I thought this was kind of cute. It's in, in great condition um, for the Padres. I picked that up. I also picked up this Snoopy which was really clean. It is peanuts. It does have a pack in it. The batteries need to be changed. I don't know what it sings or what it does, but Snoopy's always a great seller. So I picked that up. Picked up this alligator, uh, dinosaur. Uh, the reason why I picked it up was because of the teeth. Look at the teeth on this. They look like human teeth. I don't know if somebody actually put those in the stuffed animal or if they, oops, big truck going by, um, I'm out in the driveway, or if they, uh, or if this came with that. It almost looks like it came like that, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I don't know what's going on with this guy. Um, it says Ali Z Gators Pink Rose. So, I don't know, I guess that's something that needs to be looked up and see if it has any value to it, but I thought the teeth were hysterical. And let's see, last couple of things that we have is this adorable little panda bear, and this is a four reel, and some of these four reel toys have a great following, and they are sought after. This one also needs batteries, so we will test that and see if we bring that to auction or list it. And then another really cute Peanuts. It says Peanuts on it. Um, it's Snoopy and it does not have the batteries, 
Um, I'm sure it sinks something and all of these lights probably light up on it. But he was in great condition, nice and clean. So I picked that up. And I also picked up this interactive um, kitty cat. And it also needs batteries. I'm sure it either tells a story or something. And it is a Hallmark. The tag on it says Hallmark on it. And that's it, folks. That's my... Uh, that was my Goodwill Bins haul. Um, I think I did pretty good. We've unpacked the truck. Now we gotta load up the truck, bring a bunch of stuff to uh, Federal Express that I need to ship out and get ready for another auction for tonight. Um, please join us on my channel. Please hit the subscribe and the bell notification. We go on different times of the day, different days of the week. We also uh, flip flop off of each other uh, with tea auctions for you. And please subscribe to her. Her description is down in, um, her link is down in the description. Thank you for watching me and uh, we'll see you at the auction. Okay, thank you, bye.